Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. I wanted to do a product review and try these out in my own pellet stove. These are pellet stove cleaning pellets. And I picked these up at a local store and I paid 15 bucks for this little box. And you know, my first thought was, this is probably snake oil. You know, to run these in my pellet stove, how's that gonna help me to uh, um, clean my stove? It basically says it cleans and maintains pellet appliances to optimize efficiency. It helps to reduce pellet consumption, keeps the glass doors cleaner longer, helps reduce clinkers and carbon buildup, and minimizes chimney odors and keeps your flue cleaner. And what they recommend is when you first use this product, you add in half a box, so half of it goes immediately. And then every week after that, it suggests adding just a quarter of this box. Well, I have two pellet stoves. I have one down here and I have one in my home. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put half of the box in this pellet stove and I'll take the other half and um, take it home and put it in the pellet stove there. And then I'll save this video and then I'll do a follow up and then I'll release it all as one video. And you'll find out the answer, is this snake oil or isn't it? Let me pour a few of these pellets out on the table before I burn them and see what the difference is between real pellets. See if we can tell a difference. Okay, I poured some of these CSL pellets out of the bag and these are the cleaning pellets here and these are just normal pellets that I took directly out of a pellet bag. You can tell they look exactly the same. These might be a little bit darker, but there's really no visual difference. So anyway, the proof is in the pudding. I'm gonna put these in there and, uh, and burn them and then I'll report back here in about a week. You'll see it all as one video, but I'll save the footage and make one video. And we'll see if this, if this works. One clue that might help here is I looked up CSL and come to find out they manufacture logs for fireplaces that cut down on creosote. And from what I understand, those work. So this might be the same principle and just, you know, have the same chemicals in them. Anyway, I couldn't find any more information out about them. I don't even know what they contain. There's no list of ingredients. But uh, time will tell. So let's go ahead and put these in my pellet stove and then I'll monitor it and let you know. All right, well, here's pellet stove number one. And I emptied half the bag into another bag that I'm gonna take home and try there. So let's go ahead and add these to the hopper. It says to go ahead and just add one bag to your hopper, half a bag rather, you can see. They pretty much look the same. And um, so that was about $7.50 worth of pellets. I sure hope it works. So I'm just going to spread them in, mix them in a little bit. And um, through camera magic, I'll be back in a couple minutes and let you know how it worked out. Well, it's been about a week since I put this stuff in this pellet cleaner and I fully expected to tell you that it doesn't work, but actually the opposite is true. I've really noticed an improvement in my stove at home especially. It didn't affect this stove as much, but I still noticed more heat from it. Now the stove at home that I put this in, I put in half a box in each. I noticed the ashes falling down better and the glasses staying clear. And I think it's actually producing more heat. It sure feels like it. So I think this is really worth the extra 15 bucks. You know, you're supposed to start out with half a bag and then go to a, a quarter of a bag every week after that. So for $15 a month, I think it's well worth the preventive maintenance. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to this product and imagine that, something that really works when I fully expected to tell you it didn't. Amazing.
Hope you got some use out of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.